Announced in summer 23 and recently made available in spring 24, Prompt Builder is here to allow every admin to be a prompt engineer. But how exactly does it work? And what does a good prompt look like? In this video, I'll break down what prompts are and how they differ from prompt templates. I'll then go through the setup in creating your first prompt template before going through the steps to achieve this. So without further ado, let's get started. What is a prompt? A prompt is a specific instruction or input provided to an AI model to generate a desired output, such as text, images, or code. Essentially, it's a way to guide the AI in producing content that aligns with a particular goal or theme. For example, let's consider a text generation model like ChatGPT. If you want the model to write a short story about a journey through space, you would provide a prompt like, write a short story about a journey through space. The model then uses this prompt to generate text that fits the given theme. In essence, prompts serve as cues or instructions for the AI model to follow when generating content, helping to shape the output according to the desired criteria or theme. What is Prompt Builder? Prompt Builder is the tool that allows you to create specific prompt templates within Salesforce. These differ from generic prompts used in generative AI in a few key ways. Structured Templates Einstein prompt templates are predefined templates designed specifically for Salesforce users to streamline various tasks within their Salesforce org. These templates are structured and tailored to common use cases and workflows within Salesforce. Integration with Salesforce data Einstein prompt templates are integrated with Salesforce data and workflows, allowing users to leverage their existing Salesforce environment when generating content. This integration enables the templates to provide more contextually relevant suggestions and recommendations based on Salesforce data. Built-in AI capabilities. While both generic prompts and Einstein prompt templates utilize AI, the latter often include built-in AI capabilities specific to Salesforce, such as natural language processing for analyzing customer interactions or predictive analytics for forecasting sales trends. These AI capabilities are tailored to Salesforce-specific use cases and are designed to enhance productivity and decision-making within the Salesforce platform. Customization and flexibility. Einstein prompt templates offer customization and flexibility to meet the diverse needs of Salesforce users. Users can customize templates to align with their specific requirements and preferences, ensuring that the generated content meets their unique business needs. Overall, Einstein prompt templates in Salesforce provide a more tailored and integrated approach to leveraging AI-generated content within the Salesforce platform, with a focus on enhancing productivity, decision-making, and user experience for Salesforce users. Now we've got the fundamentals of prompts out of the way, let's build our first prompt. Before we go any further, I'd like to say a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Pipe Launch. Have you struggled to get your users to adopt Salesforce? Are they complaining about lack of data and no real reason to log in every day? Pipe Launch enriches your data, connects to LinkedIn, and provides automatic insights about each company in your org. Try it out with a free trial at salesforceben.com forward slash data. Einstein AI setup. First things first, let's enable Prompt Builder. To do this, simply go into setup, search for Einstein setup and turn on Einstein. Don't forget to refresh your page after you've done this so the new Prompt Builder options appear in setup. Next, we need to enable Copilot. To do this, Search for Einstein Copilots in Setup and turn on using the toggle. Lastly, you need to assign the relevant permission sets. There are two permission sets for Copilots Einstein Copilot for Salesforce Admin and Einstein Copilot for Salesforce User. Prompt Template Types There are different types of prompt templates, each with a specific use case. First up, there are email templates. This is where Einstein assists in crafting tailored emails, ensuring a touch of personality in every message. For example, you may have a customer service template with a pre-filled greeting, issue acknowledgement, 
and the field for the support agent to provide a resolution. Next, there is field generation. These bring generative AI assisted workflows to custom fields within a sales source record. For example, you may have a product description template that automatically populates key details such as dimensions or materials based on product listings in your database. Then we have flex templates. Here, Einstein offers the flexibility to build templates precisely matching your user's unique needs. For example, you may have a sales opportunity assessment template with customizable fields to capture deal size, competition, and the customer's pain points. And lastly, there are record summary prompt templates. These create a rich text summary for a sales source record based on the record's data and would be used with the Copilot sidebar. For example, you may want to ask Copilot to give you a summary of a record you are viewing, such as an account or contact. Creating your prompt template. Once you've decided which type of prompt template you want to create, it's now time to build it. First of all, you'll need to select which object the prompt template is going to be utilized for. Selecting the object that contains the fields you want Einstein to help users complete. For example, to create product description, select product, or to create opportunity record summaries, select opportunity. Selecting next will take you to the prompt template workspace. Let's dive into what each section of the workspace is for. The prompt template workspace is where you enter your natural language prompt. Resources is where you can select which resources you want your prompt to include. Resolution is where you can view your prompt with record data selected by the user. The data replaces the placeholders initially created in the prompt, sourced from the chosen merge fields, flows, or Apex code. Responses is where a preview of the response is shown for your selected records. Verify the output for accuracy and safety before using the template. And configuration is where you select which model type to use for your prompt. Let's take a quick look at an example prompt. The following is an example prompt template for a lead summary. Feel free to pause if you need. This was created as a record summary prompt template. The summary data fields in this prompt template are all based on standard lead fields, so this should work for most, if not all, orgs. Let's take a look at the output from this here. For field generation prompt templates, you will need to select which field to use it with. This can be done via the Lightning App Builder as shown here. Best Practices To make your prompts clear and easy to understand, keep them short and avoid technical language. Instead, use everyday language and guidelines for natural conversation. For better context, ask the model to play a role like a salesperson or support agent, and define their goal. For example, you might say, imagine you're a marketing executive inviting key customers to an event. Grounding your prompt templates in Salesforce is essential for creating relevant and accurate responses. Incorporate Salesforce-specific terminology and scenarios to ensure the prompts align with your business context. This helps the model understand and respond appropriately to Salesforce-related tasks and interactions. Experiment with different prompt styles to see how they affect the model's response and gather feedback from users to refine your templates. Consistency on your writing style, including word choice and punctuation, helps the model generate consistent responses. To distinguish between context and instructions, include a separate instruction section in your prompts and clearly state what type of content you expect from the model. Start with templates from the example prompt template library and tailor them to your needs, paying attention to the language and writing style used. And there we have it, you've successfully built your first prompt template. We've gone over what a prompt is and how it differs from a prompt template before further exploring the nitty gritty of Prompt Builder and the different components to the prompt template workspace. Finally, we've covered some best practices that all admins should adhere to when building your own prompt templates. Have you got any prompt template examples you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments below.
And just before you go, we thought we'd mention that for the whole month of July, you can get 25% off all Sales Suspend courses. So if you've been looking for an opportunity to try our courses out, head over to courses.salesforspend.com to make the most of this deal.